Hello everyone, this is Christian with another informational video and in today's video we're going to talk about how to hire or find phenomenal contractors and how to deal with them. Um, this is something that you probably won't learn by just buying a course or by, you know, not actually dealing with it. The knowledge you're going to get from doing this is by doing it, not by reading it. So um, when you're hiring contractors, right, to make it very simple, you have two classes of contractors. You got people like your Uncle Pooter, you know, your Uncle John, who's got a, you know, a wood work truck. He's got a couple tools. You know, he may have helped your dad do, finish the basement one time. You got those guys. You know, if you probably call them at 9 o'clock, they're sleeping. Um, they probably drink a lot. You know, you might find uh, some uh, control substances on them here or there. There's these type of contractors, okay? No offense to them. I don't mind those guys, you know? Or they, they've been, they have a criminal history or whatever, or they're very, very old, you know? You may have found your old, old, old uncle who's 72, but he knows everything about houses, okay? You can hire those guys. Or, which, I know why people hire them cheaper, you know? They seem real cool. And they're main, let's be honest, they're cheaper. Or you can hire... Like what I like to call grown up, and I got this from Robin Thompson, but grown up contractors. Now, these are guys that work five, six days a week, have their own vehicle, have their own tools. They don't call you if there's a, you know, if there's a little problem, they don't call you. They don't, they don't ask you uh, for every little detail. Which faucet should I get? Which trim color should I get? Which, you know, is it semi gloss or this? What do you want me to paint the ceilings? Da 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 da. They're not like that. These people usually have paperwork, okay? They should be licensed and insured. You're all, the first category of contractors I talked about probably are not licensed and probably are not insured. But they know what they're doing. And my advice, and I used to be that guy who was finding the cheapest worker. In the long run, you, better, you might as well spend the money on the pros. Okay, they're going to cost you more money, yes, but less headache, and you'll be able to finish your project. Now, I'll give an excuse, you know, in life we got to be flexible. I'll give you one excuse. If you're flipping, then you can call your Uncle Bob. You can call Pooter down the street, okay? You can call that guy you work with who does side work. You can call him for your rentals. But I would definitely not recommend that. If you are looking to flip houses, okay? When you are flipping houses, everything must be pristine, perfect. It don't have to be perfect, but as close as you can get it. You want your guys who are mudding and taping to be flawless. You want your painters to be flawless, okay? You want your plumber to know for a fact what he's doing, okay? And another thing is, another tip, don't split the work. If you have a guy... I wish someone told me that if you have a guy who's going to replace drywall for you, right, and he's going to mud, he's going to, let's say he's going to replace hang, tape, mud, sand, tape, all that. If you have a guy doing that, have one guy or one company, one crew do that. Do not have one guy hang drywall, pay another guy to mud, pay another guy to sand, pay another guy to paint. Have one guy do all that, including painting. Okay, another thing, don't have two plumbers at a job. Use one plumber and make it extremely clear that you want all, everything in that house that has access to water to work properly, no leaks. That means your shower diverter. That means your kitchen sink needs to drain. That means your garbage disposal needs to work. That means every faucet I go in the house when I turn it, Water needs to come out and it needs to be hot and cold. Everything needs to work. Okay. Now, your heating and cooling guy is going to put in your hot water tank and furnace. That can be a little different because he's going to do the hot water tank. But your plumber, well, if you're re plumbing a house, right? If you're going to put PAX, copper, whatever you're doing, right? Make Just make sure you have one guy do that to save you time. All right. Um, another thing, have one electrician do that. Okay. Don't split it. Oh, I'm going to have you run the wires. I'm going to have you put the outlets to save money and da-da-da. No, I have one guy do it. Trust me, you'll save a lot of headache, okay? And another thing is, 
have the courage, because this is something that I didn't always have to do, have the courage to cut guys off when you know they are ducking you. If you have to keep calling a guy to do work, wrong guy. If you have to keep, um, what I say, reminding a guy about simple things as in, hey, put the keys in the lockbox and lock it and let me know when you have left. And if they never do that and you told them two, three times, cut it. Don't think about it. Don't think about all he's going through. He's a good friend, what he did before. Cut it, okay? Or if you use him, just know what you're going to get, okay? Another thing is understand that contractors hate buying material, okay? They hate going to Home Depot. They hate waiting in line. They hate doing phone sales. They hate the protests, yes. But I would highly advise you not buying the materials. There's many reasons, but just don't do it. Have them buy the materials. One, if you're like me and you're just a regular old Joe, you probably don't know the exact tools and the exact paint and the exact, you know, materials you need to acquire. So because of that, to cut the confusion out, plus you're supposed to be an investor, you're supposed to be doing the paperwork, finding motivated sellers. You're supposed to be making offers, not going to Home Depot buying materials. Okay? That's what you're contracted to do. Okay? So keep that in mind. So if a guy tells you to go get materials, cut it. Okay? Have them get the materials. And when you do it, do a phone sale. Don't You don't have to write them a check for the material. Okay? So if the job's ten grand and 3000 of it is, is material, you don't need to... Write him a check, three grand for material. I wouldn't advise doing that unless you know this guy very well. And even if you do, why do that? Don't tempt people with doing crazy stuff, okay? Money makes people act crazy, okay? He can be loyal to you for four years. I've heard of stories of guys running off with $10,000 checks. Gone. You have reached the voicemail of, this line has been disconnected. Goodbye. Okay? So... Do not do that. Don't give them cash. Don't give them none of that. All right? So, excuse me, guys. So, don't give them cash up front. Okay? You could make, give them a debit card. Right? You could go get a debit card and you could put some money on there. Limited. If you have a business account, add another card or um, get a Visa card where there's a certain amount on there where you put 400 and they have a max of 400 and Or just do phone sales with your credit card or debit card when they go to Home Depot. So you have a record of it from Home Depot and then from your credit card company. And then you're not giving that guy cash and tempting him to run away with it, okay? You'd be surprised how many people have gotten scammed like that, okay? Maybe because I'm from Detroit, I hear a lot of negative stories. I'm not from, well, metropolitan Detroit, right? I hear a lot of negative stories like that, but it doesn't matter where you're at. You can be in the high classes neighborhood. You can be in the Hamptons, you know, working with a contractor that, you know, it's super expensive. Bad things can happen. It doesn't matter what economic class you're in. But keep that in mind. I hope these things added value to you. And remember, simple rules. Don't give people cash. Be able to cut people off once you know they're not serious and they're ducking you. And three, check people's tools in the track record. Go look at other jobs they're doing. If they have nothing going on and you're the only one that's using them, ding, 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 flag on the play. Something's wrong, okay? If they're really good, they would be busy. So keep that in mind, too. Ask yourself, why is this guy always free, okay? If Another thing, if the contractor doesn't have a car, don't pick him up. Don't do all this Lyft, Uber stuff. Eh -eh, cut that. Not the right guy for you, okay? If you want to make a lot of money in this game, if you want to own a lot of properties, if you want less headache, you need to work with professionals, if you want to make real money, you got to do what real money. Guys who make a lot of money in this business, they're not hiring. They're not hiring Uncle Tom. They're not hiring Bill, Bob, Joe from Home Depot. Okay, who they they, they met sitting outside trying to sell a sell an old microwave or something. Okay, they're using professionals. Like I know one guy, he's a professional, seven figure income earner in real estate investing. And when I saw his crews and I saw his projects, I was like, oh. I'm like, what? I'm telling you, there's about 14 guys in that house, one crew. And when they were done, it was immaculate, okay? Immaculate, okay? They knew everything. There wasn't, no, they didn't have to do that much babysitting, okay? 
And in this business, you need responsible contractors. Unless you know a lot about contracting and tools and repairs and you know the codes and you know how to get CFO, you know how to pull permits, you know, all these things, okay? Another thing, have your contractor pull the permit, okay? If they're telling you to do it, wrong guy. You got to be like, hey, you got to look for a guy that makes your life easier. If, if the guy is always leaning on you, guy or girl is always putting pressure on you, always calling you, always complaining, cut it quick, guys. All right, so this is Christian. I got to run. I got to call this guy back. It's about to lead. And uh, I hope this video added value to you. And if it did, like, share, subscribe. And this is for homeowners or investors. Whenever you hire somebody, think about these things, okay? Ask them every question. And try. And another last thing, I almost forgot this. Get everything on paper. Do not do a verbal agreement. He's going to paint the house for $2,000. Get every detail on paper. Make sure both parties sign. It's called a scope of work and initial and date it. Okay, if you want to go overboard and get a witness, do that. But make sure there's paperwork when you do these deals so that if you do have to go to court, you have something on paper. Okay, okay, and remember, text try not to make these deals on text. Okay, try to and make sure when you, you're hiring guys, go to the house with them at first, don't just send people to your houses. Okay, be hands on in the beginning, be hands on, be there. Right after you hire a guy, come back the day later. Don't, don't just come back when he's done with any calls you and he's done. And don't pay people when they're not finished. And the only way you'll know is if you keep going to the job and watch them. So you got to watch them like a hawk. So many people lose money and I've lost money by not watching people like a hawk. Okay? I learned that from Sam Walton in his book, uh, Was It Made in America? Okay? Over the shoulder management. You got to be over the shoulder man on everything because guess what? We make mistakes. Humans make mistakes. People change. There's good and bad people you don't know until you really get to know them. So when that happens, be wise and keep an eye on them. All right. This is Christian out. I hope that added value. And listen to this video again. There's a lot of nuggets in here of value that will save you a lot of money. Okay. And one last thing. Keep leverage. The leverage you have is that money. Okay. So as soon as you pay everything out. Good luck having him come back. Always keep a little bit, okay? Always try to have leverage, especially if you don't trust him. So if you don't trust him a lot, have more leverage. If you trust him more, you can be a little bit lax. But if you don't trust him, make sure you got a lot of money that you could take away, like you're holding. Not take away. Let's say the job was three grand, right? Don't wait to give him like, you know, hold back like a thousand or five hundred. You know, don't hold back a hundred, he won't care. You hold back a five hundred, a thousand dollars, he's gonna be like, okay, let me finish this quick, okay? And don't pay people half in the beginning, especially if you don't know them, okay? These are simple but very important things that you must do all the time and make it a habit. For me, I would always be strict with everybody. Friend, family, I know him or not, people change. And especially when you're borrowing people's money, you ain't got time to be making mistakes when you're rehabbing these houses, guys. You're borrowing people's money, so you better be a very responsible of the people you hire. Because you can't, you can't blame uh, Mr. Lender. The, the contractor, they, they ran out with my, my money. He don't care. Okay? It's on you. You're the responsible. You're the entrepreneur. You're the one he gave the money to. He didn't give the money to the contractor. Okay? So, I'm, I'm trying to be very serious because this is a big deal and this is where a lot of people lose money watch your contract it's like a hawk you need, i was that lazy guy oh i just go and they're done no every day every other day you need to stop at that job i would say every day if you haven't flipped more than 10 houses you should be there every day or every other day minimum bare minimum every other day if you're self-employed you should be there every day if you're if you have a, a nine to five every other day okay and pop up on them, surprise them sometimes. See how they're acting, see what they're doing, okay? Trust but verify, number one rule of real estate, okay? All right guys, take care, have a blessed day. Please like, share, subscribe, tell your friends. Bye-bye, love you.